Marcus Rashford returned to training ahead of United's trip to Sevilla. But Eric Ten Hag must weigh up whether the forward is ready to return to the team from the start. The England international has established himself as the key forward at the club this season and will be eager to add to his incredible 27 goals already across all competitions. United's concern is that if they rush him back too quickly, they could risk a relapse after his recent injury layoff, which is an unnecessary risk to take. Anthony Marshall has impressed in his teammates' absence and should be allowed to keep his starting role, with Rashford only required from the bench if his team is in desperate need of a goal. Sevilla are no fools and boast an incredible record in the Europa League, but they are still a bottom half La Liga side that should be beaten even without their leading scorer. Rashford is not the only injured player back in contention, with another trio of first-teamers also back in training ahead of the match. Marcel Sabitzer, Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malaysia were all spotted at Carrington on Wednesday and could be involved in the squad later on. It is a huge boost for Eric Ten Hag ahead of a pivotal run of matches that will likely define the success of their season and he once again has the tricky task of assessing the risk of rushing players back into the squad. United need to win, but even a second string side should be able to do that, as long as they don't suffer from the same complacency that cost them a week ago. United will definitely have to make one change from their weekend win over Nottingham Forest with midfield talisman Bruno Fernandes set to miss the match through suspension. He has every right to feel aggrieved about his absence given how harsh the yellow card he received in the first week was, but the reality is that they have to accept it and move on. Ten Hag has plenty of options to try and replace Fernandes, and it will be fascinating to see how he does it. Christian Eriksen is the most obvious choice to play in a more advanced role, while Sabitzer could also be an option if he passes a late fitness test. There is also the option of playing Scott McTominay or Fred in the deeper role alongside Casemiro, or if indeed he goes with Eriksen there, he could even play Jadon Sancho or Woot Weghorst as an attacking midfielder. United have six options. They just need to pick the right one. United will be missing one key player through suspension for the quarterfinal second leg, and they are at risk of losing another for a possible semi-final two. Casemiro and Facundo Pellistri both sit on two yellow cards, meaning that another caution tonight would see them miss the first leg of a possible Europa League semi-final against either Juventus or Sporting Lisbon. The South American duo must avoid bookings to avoid suspension. Should either player be cautioned, they will receive a one-match ban. If they avoid a booking, they will no longer be at risk of suspension as cautions are wiped at the completion of the quarter-finals. United could easily have headed into tonight's match with one foot in the last four and a comfortable scoreline to match it. Instead, they are back at square one and must be grateful the away goals rule has been scrapped. Ten Hag's side proved a week ago they have what it takes to beat the Europa League specialists, and they must still be scratching their heads at how they didn't manage to see it through. The late collapse in the first leg was a wake-up call to United about complacency and they are lucky they have another opportunity to put things right tonight. This time, there won't be any second chances.